morning. Welcome to our daily morning devotion. For today's word, allow me to share a topic about an influencer for Christ. What comes into your mind when we say the word influencer? A celebrity, artista, or yung mga taong napapanood natin sa YouTube and TikTok? Or even a person who has a lot of followers in their social medias? Yes, this person are influencer, but there is more to it than that. An influencer is a person who has the power to influence or affect others which can lead to a change of behavior, attitude, or even a change of life. Now, would you agree with me when I say that you and I are also influencers? Your influence is not based on what you have, the position that you are in, or even the authority or power that you hold your appearance, or even your educational background. Hindi limitado sa iyong estado sa nakikita ng mata o nahahawakan ng iyong kamay ang iyong influensya. Because for us, children of God, when we receive the promise of life and the blessing, this same power enable us to influence other for Christ. But what sets us apart from other influencers? In Galatians 1, 15 to 16, But when God, who sets me apart from my mother's womb, who called me by His grace, was pleased to reveal His Son in me, so that I might preach Him among the Gentiles. Uulitin ko po ang sinabi niya ay, to reveal His Son in me, not just to me. In me, it means that Christ is within you. He is in you, and He is living inside of you. And that marks the great difference. We are the vessel of godly influence, an influence of Christ that was first revealed to us, and the same influence that the Lord wanted us to manifest to the world, to share Jesus and to share life. Now, how can we influence others for Christ? In 1 Timothy 4.12, it says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set as an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. First of all, sabi niya, be confident. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But not being confident in yourself, but being confident in Christ and His works in you. His divine power has given us everything we need. Lahat po daw ng kailangan natin ay kaya niyang ibigay for a godly life through our knowledge of Him, who called us by His own glory and goodness, that is written in 2 Peter 1 verse 3. We are not missing anything. We are fully equipped. Kaya huwag po nating kakalimutan na ang Diyos na nasa sayo ay siyang Diyos na kayang magbigay, sumuporta, tumulong, magtanggol, at kayang pumuno ng lahat ng iyong kakulangan para magawa ang kanyang ninanais sa iyong buhay. Our confidence is Christ. That is why we can stand here because He is with us. Second, but set as an example for the believers. Be a pattern worthy of imitation. Yung karapat dapat tularan. Sabi niya, set as an example in speech. Let us be careful of what comes out of our mouth because it can either give life or cause destruction to others. In Proverbs 15.4, Gentle words are a tree of life, and deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Next, set an example in conduct. Our word shall match our actions. If you want others to do good, start doing good so that the others may see and learn from you. Third Paul, set an example in love. To love is to give and to spend time. To give is providing help. Your small act of goodness may mean a lot to others. So let us not hesitate to help even in our own little ways. And of course, to love is to spend time. When we spend time, it equates with our presence. And your presence is a great influence. They say, the greater the exposure, the greater the influence. Second to the last, set an example in faith. How do we show faith in Christ? By being consistent in the, doing the little things that matters the most. And of course, in time of trials, show your unwavering faith. 
hindi pwedeng ikaw yung unang tatalikod at unang hihindi. Remember that we are God's mighty warriors. And lastly, set an example in purity. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Do not engage with the world and cut all ties that are not worthy of your attention. Remember your influence is both a privilege and a great responsibility. We are setting example, the best example to others, but how can we make sure that this is the right one? Simple, set your eyes on Jesus. Be an imitator of Christ as what Paul said, in everything that we do or say, do it all for his glory. And remember, we do not only shine our light to the believers, but also to the non-believers, so that they may draw close to God through you. Now, for my conclusion, in 1 Peter 2.9, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are set apart by God to do certain things. We are planted where we are for a purpose. We hold the power to influence. Make an impact for that influence will surely make a great difference. It will live on because somebody is looking at you right now. Someone is walking from your footprints. So let us be careful and guard that influence that we have. Let it be guided by the word of the Lord for your godly influence will be someone's testimony of goodness in Christ. Let us pray, Paul. We thank you, Lord. We praise you for this day. We thank you for the giving of life. Lord, we also thank you for the power of influence that you've given us. And Lord, we pray that we could maximize it in full potential. We continually pray for our nation, protection and healing for the land, and also for our leaders, pastors, mentors that are with us. Lord, continually to anoint them, protect them, Bless them, O oh God. Lord, we pray that this day will be your day. And Lord God, we bring back all the praises and adoration in your name. Amen.